Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on Blossom, and this is page one. Um, I kind of built this a little bit out of order, so you'll see if I flip it over, I've already got page two installed, but this is page one. We're installing it on a pocket page, and uh, this is gonna be the spine side, this is gonna be the pocket side. We're going to install these two flaps, which are six and a half by four, six and a half by four, and you're gonna score a half inch on the six inch side, and they're both gonna get installed on the um, left hand side of page one. There we go. And they're just gonna get stacked one right on top of the other. So they're just gonna be side by side. <clears throat> so that's two six and a half by four, score half inch on six and a half inch side. There we go. It's gonna open, open. Okay, now on the right hand side, we have a six and a half by eight, six and a half by eight, score half inch on the six and a half inch side. It's gonna get installed on the right hand side. There we go. And now we have um, a six by four and a half inch flap. And I, I'm, I'm toying around with the idea of actually shaving a little bit off the top of this. Uh, and then we have a pocket. And this pocket is seven by four and a half. Seven by four and a half. And you're gonna score a half inch on three of the four sides. It's gonna be a pocket and it's gonna get installed right on top here. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna decide whether or not I wanna shorten that flap. Um, I gotta think about it for a second. Well, or I could shorten the pocket um, because they actually meet and it's very tight. And then I have this, what I think is, yeah, a five by seven uh, card. And I wasn't, I wasn't sure if I was gonna insert it and use it to hold the flap closed or apply it to the flap as sort of an extension. I keep going back and forth on what I really wanna do there. Um, let's go ahead and install the pocket as is. Okay, it's going on top of this flap. Flush with the bottom. And I'm actually gonna use my contrast so I can see my edges better. Okay. Now this flap is, again, six by four and a half with a score half inch on the four and a half inch side. And I do, it looks like I need to trim it. I, I don't want it to overlap. Um, and right now it's not sitting flush. So let's trim this to fit. Okay, I took about a sixteenth of an inch off, and so there'll be a little bit of a gap on the bottom, but not much. Okay, but it won't overlap. Okay. So I started with six by four and a half, and then I just took a little sliver off so that it would meet and not overlap with the pocket. So the, the cutlass will say six by four and a half, but if it overlaps, you'll just trim a little bit off. Or you can have it overlap. I don't want it to. And I will show you what I mean. So if I put this white in here, you can see that there's just a little bit, a sixteenth of an inch 
maybe an eighth of an inch gap here. Okay, and then we have this five by seven. So what I don't know if I want to use it to keep everything closed, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. Rather than put a magnet here, we're gonna use this five by seven um, insert to hold that flap down, okay? And now we need to uh, place a magnet here to hold all this closed. And I'm not sure, I haven't designed all my papers yet, so I'm not sure how I want this to work. I think I'm going to use two sets of magnets. Trying to think that through. Yeah. Okay, and now we're gonna close it on top of these flaps. There we go. Okay, so that's it. And then this opens up and up. And, and this is uh, a nice large five by seven photo mat. So that's kind of a nice feature. Left, right. Okay, that's page one. Next time we get back together, I'll have the designer papers lined up. Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we are working on Blossom and this is page one. So I've got my A-sides um, lined up and I've got my insert ready, but we I don't have my B-sides planned yet. So we're gonna get started by laying this down. I like to kind of um, glue down my papers as I go because I have been known to accidentally repurpose paper and that's kind of a drag. So we're gonna go ahead and lay down the ones that we have. So there's two flaps here, left and right, and we're gonna start with this um, stripe and it is from the Patterns and Solids. <clears throat> okay. And I've got them trimmed out and inked, so this should go pretty quickly. Okay. And hopefully we'll be able to get through this before I get an interruption. You know how that is. Something's always going on. Um, my husband is a jeeper and he was out all day and he just got home. So um, I'm sure he's going to regale me with his trip later on today. So I'm gonna try to get this, at least the A-sides in um, before I have to take a break and uh, spend some time with my husband. Anyway, hope everybody's doing good. We have had uh, some interesting weather. It was a beautiful day today, but a couple days ago, or yesterday, I guess, we had rain all day and even a little hail, which is pretty unusual for San Diego. Um, so that's pretty cold by our standards, um, <laughs> which we live in a wonderful state where it really doesn't get that cold, but it was for us. So the good news is, uh, well, as, the, as good as it gets these days. They've lifted some of our COVID-19 restrictions here in San Diego. So that's kind of nice. We, um, we can actually get out and do a few things now where we had um, a stay at home order in place until just last Monday. So it's nice that we're able to do a few more things. I understand the San Diego Zoo is open back up too, which um, is nice. I I didn't go, but a friend of mine had sent me a picture. He was there with his young son. So many of our wonderful attractions have been closed. Okay, these um, both of these patterns are from the 8x8 collection. This is just a continuation. So I'm going to place the lighter pattern on the top, the heavier pattern on the bottom. 
and I think I've got it to go this way. Yes, I do. Okay. <clears throat> I just think this feature's the prettiest, so that's why I chose this one to go on top. is going to go in here and I need to use that contrast it's very hard for me to see the edge okay there is an orientation on this so I was just checking the back side to make sure I had it the way I thought it should be and I was I was right I had it the right orientation but sometimes the pattern is just not that clear so I'll turn it over and sometimes the pattern on the reverse side uh, is stronger and easier to see the orientation so I just did that to verify so there is um, the top and I, I'm gonna hold on to this for a few minutes but I'm, I currently have this plan as the liner and then I've got this as the insert, and it's very simple, but I wanted to keep it simple because there's so much pattern here. Now the alternative would have been to put the green here and to use this as the pattern for the insert, but this is what I chose. That's the nice thing about graphic. You can pretty much mix any of the papers and it all comes together. It's very rare that there's like one oddball sheet that just doesn't go with something you're working with. I went back and forth about whether or not to use the solid side and then settled on the pattern side of this green, which is from the patterns and solids. Okay, now this looks a little dull, so I was planning on um, putting in this strip, which is um, a sticker, and just adding it uh, to the top, and I think I'm just gonna come down Actually, you know what, I'm gonna set it aside. Maybe I'll put a piece of chipboard here, um, or both, um, but I'm gonna set that aside until I'm, I'm ready to do some more planning with the chipboards and some of the other stickers. So this might be a good place to put a chipboard piece on the top as a pull tab kind of thing. So that is the uh, A-sides, most of the A-sides of um, Page one, sorry, I was thinking things through. I'm, I'm starting to think I might wanna split this in half and spread this pattern across the two and then put something solid in between, like potentially green. That's too small, but I think I've got a piece of green that'll work, yeah. So uh, maybe something like this and then have green on the top. Um, we'll see. Uh, I will, I'm gonna actually stash these pieces in here um, to help me remember that's kind of what my thought process was earlier. Okay, that's it for page one or for the A side of page one. I will um, organize my B sides and when we get back, we'll finish this page. Thanks for tuning in everybody. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. I'll be back soon. Hey everyone, it's Daphne and we're working on the B sides of page one and I've got everything trimmed out and I think I've even got everything inked. So this should go pretty smooth. This is the insert, I'm gonna set that aside for now. I pulled this pattern in so that we've got this alternating pattern going here. This is gonna be the backdrop for the pocket. Yeah, moving right along. Having a beautiful day here in San Diego. Just got back from a nice walk with Nala. The weather is gorgeous. Come on, there we go. Okay, perfect. Lovely, lovely. 
Let's double check, dry fit real quick. turn this around so I can get it a little closer to me. If you do that, remember to rotate your designer paper as well. Okay, perfect. There we go. And then we're going to use our insert here. Nice. That turned out lovely. I'm going to embellish this. I just don't know with what at the moment. Okay, now we've got this piece that I've trimmed out, and then we're going to bring that pattern back in on the far side. Well, let's start by laying this one down. This is so pretty. I really like this pattern. This is pretty too, but it's really hard to give up the other side. I like it so well. I'm going to close one of these just so it makes it easier to see the edges. And then I'm going to flip flop when I put the other one down. Everything's ready. There we go, that is page one. And I'm gonna figure something out, even if I just, I even think fussy cutting one of these flowers out might be pretty here, but I am in my craft room and I craft between here and my dining room and I've left all my stickers and chipboard in the other room. So I will embellish this, I just don't know how yet, but you will see that in the walkthrough. I am not going to cover it now because whatever I do is gonna be very relatively simple. It's uh, likely going to be a piece of chipboard here. Um, and then I might add a tuck spot or two inside, but I don't know. It looks so pretty like this. I don't know if I want to do anything to the inside, but I'm definitely going to do something on the insert. So that's it for now. That is page one.